Ooh, Lordy. All right. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, Jesus. Uh, that. <sighs> What's up, beautiful people? Welcome back to another episode of Tuna Things. My name is Steve, and I really appreciate you being here. So, oh, man. So I had stumbled through my living room, my laundry room. It's pitch black. We got the D16 Y8 Turbo Civic here. And uh, as you can see, I got some, ooh, as you can see, I got some ECU trays all over the place. Um, so tomorrow I'm going to get my CN2 ports soldered up. Um, you know, I have been doing electronics all my life, but I have never been good at desoldering. And um, unfortunately I have to desolder my ECU to install my data logging ports. I believe it's CN2. Um, the, the, there's like four or five pins that have to be soldered onto the ECU. And uh, yeah, I need those to data log. I found a dude in Canyon City who's willing to do it for me for free. So I'm gonna drive out there tomorrow with the family and drop my ECU off and hopefully he can get it taken care of. Gonna drop the ECU off with a five pin mail connector and see what he can do. So until then, I'd like to get my Honda tuning suite and or Chrome hooked up to my O2 wideband sensor. So, um, yeah. Can't tell you guys how ready I am to be done with this shit whole house. Um, Everything about it is just crazy. I don't like the, the layout is funky. The walls are funky. It's just dirty. I'm, I'm ready to be in my new house. They are cleaning it now. We closed on it yesterday, so um, beyond hyped, but it's being cleaned now. And I'm gonna move in in the next couple weeks and I'm just beyond hyped. So um, yeah. Huge shout out to every single one of you who supported me along the way. So I know the wiring that I did before wasn't like the most professional with the three wires spliced together, but um, I'll be replacing all that with the 20 gauge wire that I ordered. Uh, but I did try it with this 18 gauge that I had and still same result, same result. So, alrighty guys, I'll check in with you tomorrow when they get those joints soldered up and uh get to data logging all right peace all right so i'm gonna take everything down here and disconnect it and get it ready to get soldered so i'll check back in when everything is done uh please oh jesus please disregard the dog barking in the back and whatever that popping noise was um so it is the fourth of july there are bound to be some fireworks happening tonight. So disregard the fireworks sounds because that's, it's the 4th of July and my neighbors are wildin'. I live in the hood, so we do our own fireworks displays. We do our own fireworks displays out here. So anyway, uh, I had my data logging ports, the CN2 ports, uh, soldered on. Huge shout out to the dude who wanted to do that for me. Uh, he did it for free, which was just absolutely incredible. Um, yeah, just these things use a lot of tin. These ECUs, they have a weird desoldering issue. I, I just like with my I can't desolder them for some reason. And um, so he got it taken care of for me. So let's get this plugged in. Like I said, disregard the uh, the boom baps, the fireworks. It is crazy around here. Every Fourth of July, it gets nuts. God. right the ECU here we go
So, huge shout out to Mike Bell uh, from Canyon City. Man, this guy saved my ass. I'm telling you what. I didn't record the trip, but um, he soldered my CN2 port. Uh, there were like five pins that I couldn't get desoldered and soldered. Uh, they're the data logging pins on the P28 ECU. So, huge shout out to you, Mike Bell. I really appreciate you. Um, he does instrument clusters and like that. So, yeah, that's my dude, Mike Bell. Thank you very much. So, I had tried to plug up my USB cable to my ECU. I used an FDTI cable, which I thought would work. It ended up not working. I ordered the Hue Log uh, data logger. So, that'll be here in the next couple days. So, really stoked about that. Anyway, I just wanted to give you guys an update on what's going on right now. Huge shout out to my dude Op, which, um, yeah, I mean, I did kind of make that cable janky as fuck. It was only temporary, but I did order some 18 gauge wire. Um, so that came in today. So I'm gonna be replacing the wire from the O2 sensor to the ECU with this one strand of 18 gauge automotive wire. And, um, you know, what I did with the soldering was just temporary, but even though it didn't work, um, yeah, I got some legit cable going in and I, you know, shout out to you for calling me out on that. It was kind of janky as <laughs> It is what it is. Um, yeah, so like that's where we stand right now. I'm waiting on the Hue log to come in. That way I can do some logging and um, let Chrome do a little tuning on me. I did manage to get it started with Honda Tuning Suite. So huge shout out to everybody who wanted to help with getting me a base map in Honda Tuning Suite. Um, I may still take you guys up on that, but for now, at least I got it started. I'm kind of hesitant to get it running. I am moving in seven days, so I've already ordered a trailer and I'm gonna trailer this thing up and my blazer. So uh, I don't need to worry about the base map going up there, so. Huge shout out to everybody who's tried to help. I really appreciate you. And um, yeah, quick video, nothing exciting. I love every single one of you. Peace out, Cub Scouts.